welcome to another video on the S200 that's the Enrico S200 that uh, I managed to get hold of from uh, a company called Radio Comms over in uh, Newcastle Way now what we're going to do on this one is I'm going to show you how to install the de-bloated firmware this basically takes out all the Chinese spyware and any tracking software that is uh, secreted into the ROM now I do not do this and uh, this is not my product this is done by a very intelligent guy called Philip over in the Netherlands he uh, has done quite a few of these where they've actually uh, debloated the ROM from various uh, Zello radios and uh, he puts them out on the uh, on the Facebook pages uh, for people to download. It also has them for the Enrico T320, the TM7, TM7 Plus, TM8s, N60s. Uh, there is a list of them on, on the website that uh, that is uh, associated with that group. Now. I am going to be diplomatic here. I am not going to be mentioning any Facebook groups or any Zello channels. Uh, the reason being is that the uh, the channel where you download this from or the Facebook page, I am not a member of. Uh, this was given to me by somebody else. They sent it across to me, and uh, consequently, I installed it into my S two hundred. Now, Philip has a disclaimer on his website that he accepts no responsibility if you uh, make a mess of the uh, the downloads. If you brick the radio, that is the worst scenario. I am doing the same. This is up entirely down to yourself, what you do. Also, putting this software, also this firmware on, this will also very likely void your warranty so if you bought a nice new Zello radio or you got one over Christmas chances are this will void your warranty all right that's another disclaimer I'm going to put in now before we start before we start make a backup of all your passwords the reason for it being that this will literally remove everything out of the, your uh, Zello device. Obviously there is stuff that will be reinstalled, uh, but basically you are resetting your device so it will remove uh, all your passwords. Uh, so make a note or make a backup of all the passwords, etc. that you have in your device. It's the same if you, if you get rid of a mobile phone, you make a backup. Do exactly the same with this. Okay. So we're going to start now. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to the Facebook page, which I won't mention. Another reason I'm not mentioning is that quite a few people are not allowed on this uh, suite of channels as well. One reason or another. So once you've gone down to and downloaded or you've found a file, you will need to download it into your PC. Now this is all being done on Windows. Uh, I don't know if it works on any other system, your uh, Apple, etc. Okay. So once you have downloaded the files, well, that's the one. That's the one I want. S two hundred version one. You will need to extract it because it is a zipped file. Extract it. I'll just show the. I'll just do the extraction, but I can't extract it. Wait, well, it won't because it's already in. So I'll skip the. I'm just going to skip them files. The section, the first section you want is this one here. Flash tools. Click in there. And you're coming down to this one here. It's called applications. You need to click in that one, or send it to your uh, dashboard. I'll, I'll take that out. Uh, send it across to the uh, if the computer or onto the main screen 
like I've done here, down here, double click it and in you go, it's there. Now when you first open this up, this one here, you've got the download agent scatter loading file, this will be blank. It's only there now because obviously I have used it. So what you do then is you're going to choose back into where you've downloaded it to. Well, downloads in my case, uh, I have to look for it because there is obviously I've got the N60s in there, the T320s there, etc. So into there, this is the next section, the S200 stock ROM. This is the bit you're going to need next. Open that up and you've got the Android scatter file, which is a 6737. That one, open it up and it will take everything onto the download page. Okay, this section here, which says download only, leave alone. Do not touch. I don't think you can do anything with it anyway. Download only. That's all you're going to do. Simple. The bottom here, this section here, when you are starting to download, this will change colour to show you the download to see it's been done or it's working, etc. Right, so we leave that there. Next thing you need to do. Get hold of your S200, remove the battery. Easier said than done on the uh, S200. It's like one of those batteries you put in, you leave it in. Remove the battery. Once you've taken the battery out, you're going to need your data cable or the charging cable, whichever way you want to look at. Plug that into the side of your S200. This is without the battery. Then in plug the USB into your the USB port on your PC. It will come up downloading f files, um, etc. Uh, in the corner. Once it's finished doing that, this is the the next sec. This is going to be the next section. Is where we're going to start downloading. Now, this will work one of two ways. It will you once you click download it will start downloading straight away and that's without the battery in mine didn't do that okay what I ended up with mine was I in, I actually reinstalled the battery I actually switched the phone up and switched the uh, Zello radio on on the S200 whilst there was no battery in it still plugged into the computer and then I push the battery in place. That made it start all this lit up and started downloading. All this downloaded. Takes a couple of minutes. All right, just bear with it because it, you'll then get a sign in the in the box here saying download complete. Okay. Now once you've downloaded, you are finished. That's it. Reboot your S200, and you'll get a screen like this that is Philips call sign okay that shows it's been done now once you've got that let it boot itself up like you would do on the normal uh, time you switch it on and then you will be left with uh, icons you will have a tracker car a maze messages dialer button mapper Play Store, Zello, and Settings. Okay. Now, I don't use Tracker Car. It's like a little GPS uh, system, so I'm not bothered about that. I've deleted that one. I've deleted a Maze or Four Stopped it. Uh, same with Messages. Same with Dialer. I don't intend using my S200 as a mobile phone, so that has all been taken out. So basically all I am left with is Play Store, Zello, Settings and Button Mapper. Okay. Now go into Settings and like I said before it has deleted all your passwords. First thing to do, reset your Wi-Fi. So that needs your Wi-Fi and your password. Reset that. Whilst you're still in Settings I suggest you go into Bluetooth. If you're using a Bluetooth device just, uh, if you're using the Bluetooth device, I use the Bluetooth speaker mic. Obviously, that needs to be um, linked again. 
Now, once you've done that, then you can go into Zello. We'll come back out, go into Zello, and then once you start resetting your call sign or your name and your password, that will then bring your Zello back up. So you're ready to play, is a better way of looking at it. Now, I downloaded. Um, the download. <laughs> I actually downloaded a Google Drive. And the reason for that is that um, if you want to change the onto some of the different tones that are available, I've got the Sempura tones on mine. I sent them from the computer onto Drive, Google Drive on the computer, and then obviously Google Drive is now on my S two hundred, and that allows me access to various files and. I've changed, even got to change the screensaver as well so you can do all that uh, I've also got um, Peanut and APRS Droid APRS Droid is uh, GPS basically for um, amateur use because it requires a call sign and a password in there as well so there you go now like I say all this does it basically takes out the, the Chinese spyware that you find in some of these devices and some people have said it actually runs a little bit faster. Uh, I know the N60 3G runs a little bit faster. Uh, it seems to have taken a lot of the uh, bits and pieces out and uh, what you don't require. So anyway, that's there. If you cannot find the download, drop me an email. Uh, as you can see, I've got it here. Uh, like I say, I'm not going to advertise any of the channels or Facebook pages. And hopefully you'll uh, not brick the radio. Like I said, that's the worst case scenario. There was, there is a way out to get it back, but uh, we'll go into that if, if anything happens. Anyway, let's be safe out there. We are, I believe everybody's now gone back into lockdown. Let's stay safe. Um, fortunately, well, fortunately, um, I'm having to still work because of the uh, my job. Um, but a lot of people are out there on the on the radios. So let's see some more activity on the on the uh, on the Zello or on the uh, amateur bands as well. All right, keep safe. Um, uh, hopefully, we'll get another one done shortly.